Hello and welcome to our new co-op project, The Hunter. Uh, game released 1999 by Midas Interactive. As you can see, they have actually provide you with their homepage uh, on the startup. I don't think I've seen that before. Um, it's a bit a pretty obscure game. I don't think many of you have heard of it before, and uh, you've never played it. Nope, not played it. Heard of it though. Uh, we did uh, do a couple of uh, runs because we had uh, some audio issues, so you've actually tried it a bit so far, but yeah, but not much. I've played it a lot. I got it from a friend uh, a long, long time ago. He found it in some sort of bargain bin, I think. And uh, we'll uh, show you what this game is all about. It's really fun. And I'm going to start up by creating a character. We figured out that you actually just use one controller. I'd forgotten all about that. That's a pretty neat feature that they don't really use anymore. Uh, so you make uh, characters and this is kind of a board game style game. <laughs> and uh, you get to choose certain attributes here. So let's see, uh, I'm gonna go with um, a lot of movement. It's, it's very useful but it's also risky. I'm gonna tell you why later on. Um, let's go with some... Having lots of HP is good. I uh, think I want... One more attack there, and I'm done. No, wait, I need my character. I'm gonna go with this one, this is my favorite. And uh, blue haired sounds good. The well, mistake I often do is I forget to save, but I'll, I'll we'll do that later. So select first, yeah. So now I'm gonna make my character. We have the letters of said name, pretty straightforward. Uh huh. Okay, I'm only going to go for the one movement point. And uh, how many points does it take for this? It takes two. Yeah. Uh, uh, I want three defense then. Mm. Oh, that's a very, uh, very little HP. But yeah, that yeah. looks good actually. I was thinking about that. I'll, I'll drop that down to two. I think this is what I end up with. I usually go for more HP and one less defense. By usually we mean the other two times we tried to record this and failed. Yeah. And for graphic I do not want Chrono Trigger, although that's an amazing game. Yeah, and that guy looks like uh, Sephiroth or something. Not not the fat robot, the other guy. That guy. That yeah. guy? Yeah. Isn't that a girl with pigtails? No, it's not a girl. That's a girl with pigtails. No! <laughs> that's a guy! No, it's not. Well, yeah, well, anyway, I want the robot. Too. And uh, I'm gonna go for the green, but I'll show off uh, the some of these because some of these are pretty cool. I, I really like this, and the that's pretty one. cool. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, I'll go for the green. You can level up in this game. Uh, we'll see if we get that far. Uh, this game is sort of an endless style game, so we'll probably not play it for that long. Obviously, we'll probably do a couple of boards, five or something, and see um, how far we get. Uh, so let's start the game up. We talk to this bold guy here. This game has pretty broken English, which is really funny. So let's get right, right into it. Want the lastest news on relics. That's right, lastest. Select yes to view. So let's do that. Wow, you guys are great hunters. We need to find a bottle of wine. Now let's talk about business. Go to relics and get this. What it means is go to basically the board where we find the relic. I will buy it from you for 25 credits. That is shit. We've had 150 on the first one and then on 300, the... I think. Yeah, we got it was the on last second one. try. Yeah. Those tries are unfortunately gone, uh, gone in the abyss because uh, they did not turn out well audio wise. So we'll have to retry this and hope this is better. But third time's a charm. So this is the board. Uh, the music is really good. We are playing in normal mode because that's a thing. And uh, you can move around the board like this, check things out. Uh, we'll explain everything as we get to it, because that will probably make more sense. Look at, um, look at Sans attack. Oh god, he's going to be an aggressive fucker then. So we'll have to steer clear, clear for him. There are two uh, computer players at the moment, Sam and Nancy. They will also spawn random monsters on the board, and uh, you'll see them soon. I can now either walk, uh, I can attack someone if there's someone adjacent to me, which there isn't. I can heal. And these two we'll probably not use, they're just options. Uh, when I walk across the board, I can choose to use a couple of cards. These ones, uh, the yellow ones increase my trap avoidance, these ones lay a trap, and these ones increase my movement. So we want to do that. 
So my goal right now is to get to these crates. The question is if I want to go close to that guy. No, me. wait, that's you. That's me. So you're going to take that crate first then, before yeah. I reach it. So I'm going to go for the other crates. And the crates can contain anything really. Some things are just worth money. Uh, the money you need to he heal up if you die. Uh, and uh, to level up actually, so it's quite important. And they can also contain really useful items. Okay, um, I didn't uh, use a card because uh, there was no need. I was only going for the crate right next to me. But we have cards at the right hand corner of the screen. And when they reach a zero, something happens, you said. That's right. We have a deck there. It starts on 80. And I'm actually about to do this. Come on, high card. Oh, fuck. I'm so unlucky with cards. Uh, when the deck reaches zero, the final boss of the game is uh, summoned. His uh, name is Gone or something like that. And he is a bad mother bastard. So uh, we do not want that to happen. You definitely want to clear the board, uh, which is f finding the item we're looking for and reach exit before that happens. He will kick your ass. Uh, the only good thing about him spawning actually is that he has a really cool, cool tune accompanying him. Uh, so I kind of both hope and not hope that that will happen. And these ladies are a lot luckier than I am with the cards. Let's see, I find a gem. I'm not worth anything. Yeah. Unfortunately I've got uh, two people very close to me. Yeah. And I don't want to be near them, so... Uh, movement. Please don't be shit. And we'll soon show you what the combat will be like, probably. Yeah, you should get the first enemy, right? Oh, we'll see. It didn't actually turn out that way. You, uh, you had a theory that the enemy spawned in a certain manner. Oh, she found the relic, and then she got a monster next to her. So you'll see combat shortly. Um, the cards do different things in combat, so now we'll get to see combat. Oh, the, Sam's got it. Yeah, so we have to hope that she gets her ass kicked by that robot enough for us to attack her, because we need that item. Uh, I personally think the best stat to have is defense in this game. Possibly, yeah. Now I can either go for her, or search for more items. Uh, even if you don't get the relic, you don't like lose the game or anything. You just lose out on the shitty money that we get. Uh -huh. And you get to keep all the other items you find, so yeah, it's pretty helpful. Empty trap, that's kind of pointless. The empty trap uh, removes all the cards that you hold. So it's, it's quite good. Okay. Actually, I don't, I, I'm not sure if you get a game over. I'm pretty sure you don't. But I could be wrong. This is a long time since I played this. Each board takes about maybe 30 minutes to play. So we will not do an entire board in one episode. We'll probably do uh, half of it. It depends a bit on how lucky you are with finding the items and stuff. So I think Sam would take a bit of damage before I got there. <laughs> are you gonna attack her? She has really low HP. Oh, really she has little 10, HP. but does a lot of damage. Yeah, that's the thing. If you have high defense cards on you, it's worth the risk. If you get a, like a double card, like a two fours, you get a crit, I think. Yeah, if you get draw uh, doubles, like Velik said, you get a crit, and that goes for defense as well, you get critical defense. Uh, I'm going to grab this flag, and flags give you a bonus to the color. In this case it will be HP. Uh, unless I draw a 1. Now I gain 5 health, but I am already full at health. But the flags still give you bonuses at the end of, uh, like points at the end of the game. I'm not sure what the points do though. But you have some good defense card and attack cards, so it might w well be worth yeah. it. Oh, you stepped on a trap. But you uh, managed not to actually... Huh. Release it, so that's lucky. Okay, uh, what does the C mean? The C means... Uh, okay, you get her attack to your attack. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So it's a plus 6 card then. That's the equivalent. Then I'll take the, might as well take the plus 7. Yeah, it's or better, yeah. I could try and save my HP with the plus 9 defense, but I'm going to go for the attack because my health is full, so... She would probably not be able to one-shot you that, at least so. Is she... what? How high was her defense? I thought your cards were pretty, well, so I'm not sure what happened there, but... okay. Okay. 
I can't even reach her at the moment, so I'm not even gonna try. You should probably just go get some items. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna you do. You have the opportunity. It's boring, but that's what I'll do. So some items in this game are actually really good. Uh, they give you bonuses to stats, and they can... I think they can give you other things as well, like uh, that you can't step on traps and stuff. I I'm not sure, but I think so. Uh, so let's see what the S card does. Attack will be doubled. Okay. In that's my case, good. that's not so good because I only get plus three. So let's go all out and do a plus eight damage. Should do some nice damage yeah, now. Good. Oh, that was him. Okay, never mind. I got a, yeah, let's go. hope I'm lucky with the cards. Okay. Good seven damage. Let's see how much defense he has. Oh, um, nice. That okay. was really good. And I will move on away from this guy. He should go attack. Sam, because I think the monsters go for whoever has the uh, relic, if no one is next to them. So I'm gonna just move away from him. And I am going to attack him. Uh. Her even, yeah. And... Hmm, I'll use the plus seven again. Oh there we God, go, nice. now we're talking. Yeah. She needs to run from you. She can't. She's trapped. No, she's not trapped anymore. She killed that enemy. Really? She can actually move away from you now. Oh, crap. Uh, she chose to heal instead. That could be to your benefit, actually. Yeah. I'm Sorry. sure she didn't have 13 HP maximum second level, though. Why is that going for me? I thought they would go for her. Clearly, I'm remembering that wrong. But never mind. Uh, so, let's see. The yellow one will give me a defense bonus, I'm guessing. If uh, I draw a 1 on the card though, it will stun me instead, so... Okay, so this is where I want to use the C. Yeah, to get her attack. Oh, nothing there. Yeah. A bit, oh, yeah. yeah. Not... Down to 2. Oh, oh shit. Jesus. Ooh. Yeah. I'm gonna risk it next turn. You are? Yeah. Living on the edge. Oh, maybe not. Somebody healed. Yeah, she did. Oh, that... L Nancy's probably going for her. Yeah. Okay, so the monsters go for whoever is closest then. I thought they would go for the relic person, but clearly I was wrong. Let's see what I find in this crate. Uh, more uh, silver ore, I think. That's just worth money. In the later boards, you, you get some nice items. I thought you could get... Uh, pretty much anything on any board and I'm not sure. Usually I would just defend my way through to make sure I don't take any damage. Oh, you won't do any damage now. I won't. Damn it. I'm just praying for you now. Ooh, come on, come on. Oh, nice one. Yeah, usually I'd go for the defense and... Yeah, maybe I should But start, she you know. will be attacked now from two sides, so she's pretty much in the poop. Yeah. And that guy just won't let me be. I'm gonna heal on my next turn and let... Uh, let the other one... Yeah, uh, attack. Attack her, like, yeah. It's probably a good Cause, idea. Because uh, that one can't kill her in one turn. Oh, he got a crit on me. And I got stunned. That's a little dancing figurine. No, that's confused, sorry. So I'm not actually controlling my character right now. That was the computer controlling me and that's what confused us. I recovered 5 HP. Yeah, that's based off of your max HP somehow, I think. So like 25% roughly? Maybe, yeah. Could be that. Although she recovered uh, 4 and 5, uh, which would not be 25 of, her, of hers. So I could be wrong about that as well. But that would probably hurt her. Yeah. You should be able to take her down next turn. Mm -hmm. And when you... Uh, when you die in this game, you respawn on the board with half your max HP. Which is obviously very shit, you don't want that to happen, so you don't really want to die. And then you have to rebuy your max HP again. Uh, that's not very good, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Oh, oh god, he's gonna spank me so hard. I see what you mean about max HP I'm now. confused again! That's what crit does, it makes you confused. I healed me, that's pretty nice. Thank you, computer. I think I'll have to move closer, right? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Oh, 
leg trap. Ah, God. So you broke your leg. I didn't get to attack. No, you don't. If you step on a trap, it uh, automatically removes your turn. Ends God your turn. Damn it. I know, right? I mean, it's, uh, he dies to her. Oh, no. I'm lucky. No, wait, that's not lucky. I want to go down to less than. Oh, yeah, you're right. This is proving to be difficult. And yes. you with your leg, broken leg, the only way to remove it is to walk onto the exit. Let's hope it doesn't crit me again, because that is pissing me off. And again, he crits me, which uh, should confuse me again. Yeah, it does. How can I be so bleeding unlucky in this game? Okay, th this is uh, me being confused now. I'm not actually controlling myself. Let's see if I can kill, kill that it. bastard. <laughs> I would be lucky, yeah, nice. The monsters can drop stuff as well, so uh, killing them can definitely be worthwhile. Okay, I'm gonna attack. Go for it. Well, Although what? you are making it easier for the computer. Yeah, then I'll just kill on the computer. The other one, yeah. Uh, I should just defend then. I'm not. I'm gonna save the nine though. I'll just use the six. Yeah, sure. The nine's amazing. The six is good. And uh, I'm not sure if we mentioned it, but me and Velik are actually not on team. We are actually playing against each other. Yes, so uh, if he gets the relic, and I fancy having it, I need to kill him. See now, hopefully this guy will bring it low for me. Yeah, actually. No. Probably not though. They're just bitch slapping each other for no, well, bitch kicking each other for no good. Pointless damage. Yeah. And uh, if this goes on for any longer, we will actually summon the last boss. And uh, that would be hilarious. For many sad reasons. There's a crate I actually want Oh, the exit is up by you, so. That's I'll a be... really long way to go, especially yeah. with a broken leg. And with you, you like, you'll destroy me. <laughs> yeah, probably. I think I'll keep hold of that 9 defense spot on Alan. <laughs> an enemy on me. Okay. Let's uh, attack her again. Hopefully I can just do more than 6 damage. I doubt it, unless you're really lucky with cards. But, let's face it, we are not. No. Nothing. No damage. Nope. Double 6. <laughs> Oh, you got a double. Yeah, I crit uh, defense. I, I think you can crit defense. I'm not sure though. Super guard. Yeah, exactly. Them two kicking it out again. Hopefully oh, she'll do some damage. Sounds up to 10 HP now. Yeah, she got a crit on her though. For no damage. It reminds me of like old D and D where you could uh, get massive crits and then. Still did no damage. There's actually some other game I'm playing that where that happens as well. You got crit for no damage. Okay, oh that's fallout. Yeah, that's fallout. You can be crit for no damage. Um let's see. Nice defense there. I'm not sure why the monsters spawn next to me. It's typical my bad luck. But I can't spawn next to Sam. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> She's uh Locked in. Okay, I was thinking we'll end the part here. Okay. Because I'm not really sure how far we've been playing for, how long we've been playing for. So in the next part we'll see if will Velik succeed in his endeavor to kick Sam's ass? Probably not. No. <laughs> will he get rid of his broken leg? No. <laughs> Probably not to that either. Well, if I get rid of it by going to the exit, hopefully I'll get to the exit with the relic. Yeah, that's true actually, that's a good point. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this and we'll see you in the next part. See you then.